फ्रेंड्स मरहबा आई एम योर समीरा अजीज एंड योर समीरा अजीज इज हेयर अगेन विद यू फॉर यू इन योर ओन शो स्माइल विद समीरा अजीज फ्रेंड यू शुड फ्लॉट योर स्माइल ऑलवेज विद लॉट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिवनेस यू शुड सपोर्ट स्माइल प्लीज फ्रेंड्स टुडे आज क्या खास दिन है जनाब आज है ईद का दिन तो आप सबको बहुत 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 ईद मुबारक और इस ईद मुबारक के मौके पर हम आपके लिए लाए हैं कुछ खास लोग कौन खास लोग जनाब वो हैं अहमद मरजूकी हैं तो वो दुबई के लेकिन दिल से दिल मिलाने का काम करते हैं उनका शो है चाय विद अहमद और ऐसे लोग बहुत ही बड़े होते हैं महान होते हैं जो दिलों को जोड़ने का काम करते हैं तो चलिए उनकी प्यारी प्यारी बातें विद लॉट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिवनेस देखते हैं कि वो आज हमसे क्या कहते हैं बहुत 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 इंस्परेशनल है आइए हाय मोर <laughs> Yeah. Thank so you, guys, sir. he has. Also, you you're doing them. an amazing <laughs> job also. <laughs> no, thank you. It was a lockdown, you know. So what to do? Offices are closed. So we thought, okay. I understand. So. <laughs> I understand completely. So how was life? How was the lockdown in Saudi Arabia? Uh, lockdown is uh, uh, actually uh, uh, it was uh, nine to five. It was um, mm. uh, curfew was open. I was opening my store actually there. but other the office my ad agency my event company film production all is closed totally closed import export work is going on yeah especially the face yeah, well, mask and all yeah. so um how what did you do in eid let us know nothing i just uh, send the messages huge messages i receive and i have to send them in reply and mm. uh, still it is going on like this and yeah, also but... yeah working on some of my articles because i work in al bilad also as a columnist and uh, yeah that's great that's I amazing i completed my book Lovely. in cricket still i'm busy oh. you know in the lockdown <laughs> i know i know how it feels i have to ask to you in details today how you got the passion for bollywood for interviewing celebrities how you get all this <sighs> that breath ha huh, has long story <laughs> okay yeah, but i will make it um, um, as short as i can <laughs> okay hmm. so um first of all i love bollywood since i was a kid i think i was 6 or 7 years old something like that um i still remember the first movie that i have seen was kalnayak kalnayak oh. the first movie yeah and it was on cinema so i was sleeping uh-huh. and uh, you know as a kid you have to sleep like 7 8 o'clock maximum before they is not like now So seven eight was okay. maximum. We have to sleep because it's night. So it was weekend. Mm. It was Thursday. I don't know Friday something like that. So my parents they wanted to go to cinema to Kalnayak. So they woke me up okay. that Ahmed will go to cinema and I don't know what is cinema actually. I don't know what okay. cinema, what is movie. I don't know anything. So they said you just okay. come and I said okay let's go. So I went huge. Screen and I saw popcorn and food, lots of people. I thought this is a circus because I don't know what what is cinema. So I just sat and they just told me to watch the movie. Although I didn't understand what they are saying, but I love the action. I love the songs, and from that day I was in love with Bollywood. So everything happened. Wow. I have to watch Bollywood. So I think uh, mm-hmm. for the passion for the movies, it began from this one. Now about Chai with Ahmed. So before Chai with Ahmed, it was another page called Bollywood by Karak. I think you know that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yes. So um, I like before interviewing. Also, I was having a sh- um, a page which is all about songs, news, reviews. That's it. Nothing else. No, no interviews. But it got blocked because of the copyright issues. So my aim was to educate Arab people about Bollywood. Because why? Because whenever I go to cinema, my friends, which is Arab people, they don't want to come with me because they don't like Hindi films. So mm-hmm. they want to go only Hollywood. So I tell them like, please, I was begging them, please, please come with me. Hindi movie, <laughs> no one is going. I don't want to go alone. And because my mother is a little bit old, so I don't want to take also her. So I want my own friends to come there. 
So they said, no, we don't know Hindi. And Hindi is like, you punch, they will fly. We don't want to see that kind of movie. So I said, no, it's completely different. Just come with me. So I convinced one of my friends to go to Bajaragi Bhaijan. And they came with me for the movie. And from that day, they all became crazy about Bollywood. And then I realized, <laughs> yes, and then I realized that I have to educate people about Bollywood because they don't know, because they know Bollywood as, you know, as, as, as you mentioned, just one punch and they will fly. And, you know, car chasing, car bumping. They thought about this as Bollywood, but they don't know exactly that they have emotion, they have comedy, they have dance. So about that one, I just um, educate them and then, I tried um, to put all the news and information about Bollywood. And then one, mm -hmm. um, one time I was in my college and it was a task, given assignment or a, or a project to go and cover um, something about media because I was studying media. And at that time I was very, you know, a shy person. I don't want to go out to talk to people. I was that kind of person that, you know, always cornered. To go to shop, I have to bring someone with me because I cannot go. I'm that kind of shy and afraid to talk to people. But hmm. this subject, it forced me. It was a journalist subject. So they forced me to go and do a task or to write a project. And they have um, arranged for a movie called Kedarnat, And they have done a screening in Dubai. So they told me to go. And I met the producer. And then I went there and I told them that, um, you know, I was still shy. Uh, so one of my friends, they told Ahmed, let's go to that producer. I said, who's the producer? He said this one. I said, I cannot go by myself. You come with me. So he came. So we were both together as a colleague. So he started to talk and I was shivering. And then the guy producer said, are you okay? Are you sick? I said, no. And then my friend told that he is, you know, very, is, uh, he is a very shy person. And he, um, you know, he's uh, ashamed to talk or he's afraid to talk. And he said, no, it's okay. And then, you know, he convinced me to talk. But I have one advantage that whenever I talk, I talk so much. If mm -hmm. I talk, I talk so much. So he was like, you are a shy person, then why are you talking so much? I say, I don't know. So he loved the way I talk, my politeness, you know, and sometimes I crack a joke, but most of them they don't like, but I do something like that. So he told me, okay, meet my um, co-producer and I don't know, whatever, and just do your task and everything. I say, okay. So there was one PR agent over there. Um, um, she, was, um, she was following my page, actually. So after that, mm -hmm. she said that Ahmed, the producer, say once your task is done, send him a copy. He wants to see that what you have done. I say, OK. Then I have sent them. Then after two, three weeks, they contacted me that Ahmed, um, we have seen that it was amazing. I do not have another time. So why you don't try to um, improve yourself with um, interviewing? Because you have nice. I said, I don't know how to interview. I, I am a very shy person. So I think by that, word of mouth, it became. So this told me to interview this. This told me to interview that. Of course, Berain came. Of course, all the love, Berain, uh, to you too. You're in the chat, I know. <laughs> then Zainab came. Uh, and, you know, this whole thing happened. And then I became into it. And then I started to love. But before all of this, I hate something called journalist. But now I became a journalist. So I think this one, how the life went through. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, uh, some 20, 21 years ago, when there was uh, uh, too much uh, in demand of uh, print media was in demand. Mm -hmm. And at that mm -hmm. time, we had so many citizen journalists. And at that time, there was uh, only Facebook, I think. And at that time, I have seen so many people, they have the great ideas about uh, stories. And of course, they couldn't complete the five mm -hmm. W's. But then we start teaching them and they were the better than on our own, our own reporters. Now, the social media is there. You can see now so many platforms like Instagram is there and uh, YouTube is there and people are uh, giving the news. And I, who are social media influencers or about uh, some basic knowledge only. So they can... I think your video is buffering. Um, it's connecting. I uh, most Facebook, the revolution and all this. So social media game this uh, 21st century is all about social media. True. And uh, you only chose the entertainment platform. Um, sorry, Sami, but I can't. In other platforms. Okay. Ah, can you hear now? I don't know. I can't so why you the think video only about is... the... Yeah. Blood. Okay. Now, now can you hear me? 
Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you oh, why only entertainment? You uh, you I, I you take you can spread your wings for other platforms as well. Uh, maybe politicians and others. What do you think about that? See, um, I always um, choose something that I'm very comfortable because if you're comfortable, then what you are delivering, it's you you are doing the justice and you know what you are delivering. You are not. um making a news but if i'm doing a politician or if i'm doing about economics i don't have the enough information and one mm-hmm. single fault if i do then people will mistrust me then they will unfollow me and then it's very hard to bring them back and to convince them so i think mm-hmm. my field is entertainment and i believe that everyone every person love entertainment and uh, i don't want to mix everything because then um some people will lose interest and maybe i will lose interest So I will do something that I would love to do. So I think entertainment is my game. <laughs> people like you really uh, you guys are the reason of people to people diplomacy and uh, uh, you are just uh, you know um, joining the hearts of the people. This is a great great job and using entertainment platform. Uh, yeah. We have one Zainab and uh, Brain Bagadia from BJM Entertainment who is actually conducting this show for us. This is her yep. his friend welcome Zainab. this show is uh, provided uh, to you or to all the fans uh, uh, with the uh, support of bjm entertainment uh, mumbai india's mayor gupta brain bagadia and samir aziz entertainment we have saad abdul latif so this is always the announcement i have to do <laughs> you have to it's yes. nice they deserve it <laughs> yeah definitely they work hard for us for bringing but samira where is your chai i'm having my chai where is yours Actually, I told my she- <laughs> my chef to bring me the tea. She she gave me this water only. I don't know. I think she she uh, <laughs> didn't listen to me. I told her I want tea. Thanks, Dr. <laughs> my um, this show maybe you will find here the politicians. You will find here every hmm. every, every people every person. Yeah, because I'm basically a journalist, not Mashallah. only you know. <laughs> so maybe you will see one day. You are politician. doing amazing yeah. job. <laughs> That's why. <fine>. So, <laughs> Ahmed, uh, let me know about uh, you know you 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 become impressed with Bollywood and you chose to interview and this is uh, your, your satisfaction. You have any um, brother, sisters, or anyone in your home who has this passion of Bollywood? To this extent, no. No, uh, actually, mm-hmm. not. No, no, no. There is uh, actually my mother. She obsessed with TV shows only, not movies too much, mm-hmm. but TV shows. Mm-hmm. Whatever it comes on mm-hmm. color TV, she will definitely watch uh-huh. it. All the show. Okay. I told her, Mom, just yeah, there there are thousands <laughs> of different TV channels. Just change it. It's okay. She said, No, I want this channel only. And then what happened? That my father, he loves old Bollywood. You know, like nineties yeah. and this one, eighties, seventies. I said, I said to my mom and dad. you have to watch the new movies to know what is happening in the world if you will stay mm. always watch old movies your mind will become old so you have to watch something new <laughs> but they say no we don't want no new movies are so much drama we you know very vulgar and all of this stuff but um and then my rest of my brother and sister my sister a little bit she watch hindi movies but not to that extent um uh-huh. my other brother they're not that kind of uh, movie hindi watcher they are more into hollywood but um, mm-hmm. i think i'm the only one who is bollywoodish mm-hmm. that's it ha uh-huh. ha so uh, bollywood is your passion and by, but if your mother she likes color tv so i'm sure she likes big boss as well huh? <laughs> no <laughs> yeah no <laughs> she muted she told me she, she wants to tell me don't watch it i see why you didn't know if you watch it then you will also come and shout i didn't know <laughs> She like cancel the show. She hates it. What about the But Pakistani dramas? Pakistani dramas are also equally popular. Actually, the... um, my um, how would they say my Bobby in Hindi? My Bobby, one of my Bobby, yeah. she watches Pakistani. She loves Pakistani dramas, uh-huh. but also not too much. Whatever they will show, they will see it. Uh huh. You know, I uh, my one of my film shooting was planned, but the corona happened and shooting get postponed. it was a saudi film on human rights yeah oh, so <laughs> yeah and the other film was pipeline in between but i don't know when 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 you postpone when shooting then it become 8 to 9 month more you go ahead to arrange all the appointments again and dates and all this so what do you plan like yeah 
you know your your uh, show definitely chai with ahmed uh, it's a social media show and this lockdown i think it is a great uh, opportunity again for you definitely you have big big, big listenership already but what was the difference between before and now in a lockdown time when you are doing a show see before it was yeah before it was easier for me to go out and do interviews physically because um mm-hmm. it was a season that most celebrities come to dubai and to promote their shows i think the season from um oct- uh, from november till at least march it's a very good season for celebrities to come so i think this is what happened the lockdown it turns my interviews to the live and of course if you will have a listers like you know like big big celebrities a listers it's very difficult for them to come live they don't come live much often but tv stars and most different celebrities they come live which is also good but the those a listers style they don't come live so i think this was a little bit a loss but on the other hand um the lockdown also as you mentioned it was an advantage for me because um i have done thousand no not thousand come on that's too much um almost 100 interview live which was in my benefits i think um, people knew me more much more the agency the prs knew me much more and they loved my um, style of uh, of uh, the interviews and of course there are some celebrities they come they dm me that ahmed please take my interview to your show so i think that's how the reach that i have um, reached of course thanks to every one of you guys who supported me and that was amazing Here yeah, someone is asking not someone this brain is asking what do you think about your marriage plan <laughs> marriage plan yeah <laughs> if, 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 if i was married then i will i will not focus on my child with ahmed no i was i will focus on milk with ahmed much more with the kids <laughs> and if they do child with ahmed no but marriage for me um see i i always believe that um you um in everything not only in marriage in every every single say, situation that um i always believe if it's god's return if god mm-hmm. distends then this will happen so i am waiting for the right time for the marriage because i don't want to rush myself to you know to please yeah. my parents that i am marrying to please my family that i am marrying no i would wait for my own self i am a little bit selfish person yes but um to in, in a good way so mm-hmm. i'm waiting for the right opportunity but now i'm focusing on my dream on my passion on uh, yeah that's what i'm doing right now So but did you think about anyone what is your choice which type of girl you are looking for Not now No <laughs> Maybe you you search for me one nice Saudi now You oh, search okay. for me I I can find you Saudi you know here <laughs> a Saudi one yeah. I have one Saudi friend um I I actually met her in Comic Con in Dubai uh-huh. When I saw her I thought she's um Bahraini or Kuwaiti. I never knew she was Saudi because she wasn't wearing scarf, no abaya. She was completely different person, and her English was my god, top notch. And then I said, "Where are you mm. from?" She said, "I'm from Saudi." I said, "What? You're from Saudi?" But then she told me a story that when she will go to the plane, she will wear the mm. scarf and everything. I said, "Then why uh, you make it all drama? Why you make it all drama when you come over here?" She said, "Because mm-hmm. of the parents and the tradition, you know." So I think. slowly slowly they are I, i think the girls from riyadh is different the girls from um, al medina so i think slowly slowly they are becoming more um, open i think but um, whatever i don't know um, saudi girls are very very good i must say they are very clever they are very clever yeah you know here the abayas are must uh, unlike mm. dubai you know it's up to you you wear or not because whenever i go come to dubai i never uh, wear abaya and mm-hmm. i am just like this like you know the but here when you are uh, when i uh, i sit in the airplane i wear my abaya and uh, that's it because it's uh, like a uniform here inside yeah and uh, <laughs> yeah the girls but you're looking so good is... mashallah trust me wallah <laughs> thank you so much so What this is of course i have to represent the 21st centuries of saudi arabia <laughs> that's why It and is, <laughs> and I I swipe up the Great Women Award from your Dubai, by the way, in 2016. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Share it, I want to see it. I'll oh, send you. I think video. I saw it. You saw it? Ah. Oh. I saw the picture. And, yeah, I saw the picture. Ah, oh, yeah. So I want to see uh, it. And video. maybe maybe I will come for a mushaira in Dubai soon. Yeah, because I'm. What is mushaira? Mushaira is a Urdu symposium. 
Okay. Share, you know, Ooh. for the share. Yes. Oh, I love so. poetry. <laughs> I would just so, invite you, please. If poetry was not there, you would have never, uh, you know, listening the Bollywood songs. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it came from uh, yeah. The part came from there. True. Yeah. Here, uh, someone is asking. Mayor is asking actually. What are the funny moments during your interview? Any one moment <laughs> which you remember? Yeah. <laughs> so much. I will show. I will share only two because those are so much close. So uh, first of all, El, it was El Naz Nourouzi. She have done Sacred uh, Sacred Games on Netflix. So um, we were laughing a lot because um, you know, and because when she tries to speak in Arabic, it has the Iranian accent on it. So whenever she was talking, she was like always cut, 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 and she's laughing hard because whenever I hear something like Iranian, I would laugh, and I can't control myself. I have one disadvantage on myself that if I laugh, I will never stop laughing. This is mine. Mm-hmm. And she was laughing, and I was laughing, and then I dropped. I dropped myself. Mm-hmm. My chair was back. I dropped, and she continued laughing, and the shoot delayed for fifteen minutes. And she wanted mm-hmm. to go for an event, and that was a disaster. And all my eyes becoming all tears. My head was spinning, and her head was spinning, and all of us were laughing. And the manager came from the hotel. He said, "What's yeah. happening? Please, guys, shut your voice." I we we couldn't. We were laughing in front of him also, <laughs> and he was angry. He went. He said, "What crazy people you are!" And the second one, it was was Shraddha Kapoor. Um. So what happens? You know, I have one segment called Arabic segment when I'm doing with celebrities. So I have a small jar. I put the Arabic sheets. So they have mm-hmm. to open the jar and take the sheets. So I just show him like this one, and she thought that something will come out from it, like it, you know, like a prank. Oh, so yeah. she was like, ah, she screamed like, oh my god! I say, what's wrong? She said, maybe something will come. I said, no, but this only jar had papers only. So everyone, all of her team, they were laughing, and some of them they took the clips for her and they shared it. You know, it becomes so much drama. I think these two sh- very memorable things happened to me during my interviews. Uh-huh. And uh, any interview which make you so angry? Any anyone to you whom you are interviewing? And uh... angry? No, but um, it was embarrassing. So mm-hmm. what happened? Actually, what happened? Um, of course, the legendary Shabana Azmi. You guys, everyone knows oh. her. So I yeah. was about to interview <laughs> her with one of my um, uh, co uh, co anchor. So what happened uh-huh. is. Um, We have it was also a uh, poetry kind of uh, event, so we we were there um, and we have been promised that I will um, that we will take Shaban Azmi's uh, interview before the event by one hour, so we came there before the event by two hours, so we were mm-hmm. standing and uh, we were waiting and we were requesting that you guys told us and we came and no interview, so they said okay no problem after the event hundred percent after the event we will take the interview I say okay. Mm. So what happened after the event? You know, all the people were following her. So we will, we uh, we told to the guy, the PR, that um, you guys promised us, and now we are here. So he said okay. And uh, one guy, one local guy, he he also do interviews. He came before us and he pushed us and he came and he took the interview first. Now Shaban has been thought that um, it's him that it represent us. But he's different, and we are different. So he took the interview, and um, he took like twenty, thirty minutes because the interview should be only five to ten minutes maximum. He mm-hmm. took all the time, and he was seeing us, and by purposely he took more time, which is completely uh-huh. not good. So after he yeah. finished, then that guy went to Shaban Azmi, and he said that it's our turn. And then she said, "No, that's impossible, impossible." And she like you know like a little bit pushed us, and she went. So we were very embarrassed between all the people, you know, that she have declined us, and that guy was laughing and he went, you know. Then I realized that media is very dirty place, you know. It's all about mm. competition, and uh, and uh, at that time I was like no one, you know, like I I, I was at my middle. Um, I I had only like thirty forty interviews maximum, and still people wasn't knowing me a lot, but still I felt very bad from inside, you know, that I respected mm. this man and I always was. He was like my mentor, and what he did to us or to me that was very painful. Then I said, yeah. "Allah is up, and you never know what will happen." 
And I think this is was one of the moments that was really touchy and I was very and I think after that when I said I will just continue with Chai with Ahmed also. But then I realized that this is my passion oh. and if I just continue will never continue again. So I let it go. That No, was. you know, uh, see the journalists are actually very highly educated. I don't know what happened now because of the citizen journalism now, you know. That's why the people who are from uh, non-journalistic background they are also attempting it. But when I was 14, when I decided to be in media, there was one thing I realized that I should have to study a lot because I should be uh, intellectual for that. First of all, the journalists are always intellectual. There is one thing, yeah, they are very proud because I have worked yeah. in the mainstream in 14 years, and I saw the editors of the same post. They were throwing the reports of the reporters. You know, that's how it was. Only me who was always this morning, <laughs> trying to tell them, look this way, this way. So this is I can understand that they are proud and rude, but they are not like that in in decent. But now maybe, but mm. you can uh, you shouldn't uh, think that I should here. leave media. Yeah, I don't know, or maybe the Indian media because I have some celebrity friends. They say that the Indian media, maybe some of them, they they do some uh, some thing which is uh, not correct. The celebrities uh, they don't like it or they interrupt their privacy. All this happen. So. By the way, uh, there was a question here. The the people, the Indian people, want you to be in India. They are asking when you will go to India. <laughs> Actually, there was a talk. <laughs> there was a talk that I have been nominated as the best international blogger for the International Iconic Award. So this is um, so this is an awards function that um, they give award for the TV stars and for the Instagrammers and all the social media people. So they are much focused more into TV. So um, I have been received a call, or maybe it was on January or February, something like that, uh -huh. that you have been nominated, and um, and also when you will come there in India, and uh, we will give you a, like a special room. You can also there interview and everything for the all the celebrities. Then after the Corona came, and everything <laughs> will become, everything became harban, everything became khaliwali. But uh -huh. um, actually, but. Um, I think they will um, do it maybe in September or October. I don't know if everything goes well. So I had an interview with them. I think yesterday or before yeah. yesterday. Well, I forget also the days. I don't know which one it was yesterday, maybe. So um, they have taken my interview, and um, I don't know if everything goes well. Inshallah, let's see what will happen. But I'm proud that uh, it will be my first visit to India because I always wanted to go to India. You have no idea. Although I have no one, but now I think I have everyone. So I think um, receiving an award on a country that I really admire that means a lot. Wow. Uh -huh. But you have to come to Saudi Arabia. Also, we named it Saudi Wood. Our industry is Saudi Wood, and you have to promote my films. Actually, you know. My Don, films, no need to say. Women course. rights. <laughs> I always <laughs> support women. You know, I always support women empowerment and uh, women uh -huh. human rights. I always support. Uh -huh. I know uh -huh. how difficult it is, and you guys are doing amazing. Uh huh. Yeah, after Corona, you know, when we stand up, we will stand up with more force. Let's and hope you will get it because we have, uh, we have, uh, you know, having now we have gathered lots of energy inside us, <laughs> so we are ready, you know, to attack. I know. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, what, what do you think about the cricket? Also, cricket is something which is uh, not uh, new in Dubai, definitely, but still, the local people there did not adopt it. I was in Abu Dhabi like maybe uh, some month ago. It was a T20 mm. Cup, and mm. I asked there that why there is no local people. All uh, usually they said no. Our Emirati people uh, they don't uh, play well. But you know, you guys and actually the people like you, you can slowly, slowly talk about cricket and take your command. You know, make yeah, your Emirati can, team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can be. What do you think about that? What happens that? is. Yeah, uh, what happened is that you know um, years back that all um, Emirati they love to play football. You know they have mm. and they don't much play basketball. They do bas they do play basketball, but not as much as football. And oh. cricket is almost similar to tennis. You don't have also mm. local people playing tennis because what happened is um, they already for the cricket they already have teams. It's already built oh. and there is no. Training or there is no circuit for the Emiratis to play cricket, and as years pass, always people much focused on football rather than cricket. There is no training, there are no practices, there is no awareness 
about uh, cricket. Now, everyone who thinks cricket, cricket is all about India, Pakistan. That's it. They don't have the mentality or to try themselves to come and play cricket. So it's very difficult for them to educate themselves again to cricket while they are always playing football. You can see now everyone, every Emirati who wants to grow up, they want to become a footballer. Everyone. You, you you don't hear they want to become a cricketer. They don't want to hear to become the um, football or or uh, from basketball tennis because I think it's a national how they call it, it's a national uh, play because India Pakistan they have cricket so Dubai or UAE or Gulf they have um, football so they have that mentality set خلاص that we are into uh, soccer or into uh, football so it's very difficult for them to you know to digest about cricket so I think this might be one of the reasons. Maybe Just I'm not sure. Wait, you know, I have I have written a book in cricket and uh, in so many languages. So this is especially for our Arabs. I have mm-hmm. written it because uh, instead of just mere talking to them, please learn cricket. Nothing gonna be happen. So that's why I try to write in small, small way. Uh, it's just one sixty pages with the illustrations and pictures. It will be released oh, soon, beautiful. thanks to the lockdown. <laughs> it's so very beautiful. Then, Yeah, this is what I I I thought. Wow, what to do? How to practically uh, teach them? You know. So then later on, I will make the small videos also. So you will also receive that book. And after Corona, we will receive it. Yeah. And in Arabic. Done. Done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and just try it, watch it, and you know why I I am uh, convincing. I'm trying to convince you and Arabs for the cricket. because you know it's it's a good game like you have a physical exercise also and you have a mm-hmm. mental exercise also because when you attack uh, a bowler is attacking to the batsman so according mm-hmm. to his height and all the level he decide immediately and the batsman is whenever the ball is going to a direction he will with a second with a with a quarter point of a second he will decide and he will make a shot where he will, he has to make so this is the good exercise for the brain you know So that's exactly. why at the same time. So that's why I like this game. And by the way, I was a captain in Jeddah Cricket League. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. But only okay. one match, and then extremist people stop us. <laughs> This is you are a woman. You cannot play. But now, yes, we have a I good know. chance. Now we can play. We can do everything. So this is my first step, practical step for trying to teach cricket to our Arabs in Arabic Beautiful. language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job, I must say. Its name is uh uh its its name is let's learn cricket cricket. Hayya nataalim al cricket. Yes. So it's like a one on one educational type of Hayya nataalim cricket. Hayya nataalim cricket. Hayya nataalim cricket. Yes. Yeah. This is yeah, the Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know Yes, that is a useful book that's what I'm saying. So I and I wrote it with my yeah. passion and with my um, honesty to try yeah. to teach something. Uh, okay, you know our uh, 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 this show's name is Smile. So what we give a task, <laughs> you know about it? We give a task. I know Smile was Samir only. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we want to see your three types of smile. It is only for the actors, by the way. But you just try. If not three, okay, one. <laughs> two, two, two smiles. Okay, I will give you different. See, I am very <laughs> at expression, so I don't know what is uh, mine as was the matter. I will give you whatever I want. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, so first one you want. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Munal. <laughs> Munal is. <laughs> This is Munal, is that you know? Yeah. Smiling. <laughs> okay. Second one is um. This was smiling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So now two. Now three is um. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. gonna be real. That's okay. <laughs> now cry. Cry. <laughs> three cry. <laughs> Why cry? There is different type of cry. <laughs> Because you know, smile is the name of the show. So what is the opposite thing to smile? Is a cry. Cry was so Samir Ali. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now how should I? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Then. <laughs> That's a cute cry. Okay, yeah. one is this, and one is um. 
I think for cry I can only one no which is this one hmm. which is like sad mm-hmm. you know I'm sad like small small tears taking out from my eyes and the second oh. one was like when I'm crying too much I'm like oh my god <laughs> my my account got blocked my account got blocked <laughs> and the third one is yeah. them uh, tearing you know like mm-hmm. oh my god <laughs> I've seen this so many times <laughs> this kind of thing so you know it's it's Somehow, maybe, yes. and and why why they block your account by the way? Ah, uh, all because of copyright songs, which I didn't know actually. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So no need to you know. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so I want to ask you. Did you ever think about acting? I think you should be an actor also. No, see, I want to become actor, but I want to become actor on TV only. No, uh-huh. not on the cinema, not on the movies. I don't. I don't know why, but I like daily soaps. I don't know. I want to be in daily soap only. I mm. think um, daily soap is like always new episode. You're always in, you know, going to war because um, you're always meeting a new family. You create a family, and you because I'm now becoming a person that I love gathering. You know, I like to sit uh-huh. with the family, discuss, talk. I think I'm that kind of person. So I think daily soap it has one advantage that you always keep going to the same. family that you are doing the movies or the show with so i think um i would want if i get an offer that would be only mm-hmm. and how are you in da- learning the dialogues like in hindi dialogues if somebody will give you would you be able to do that yeah just give me one dialogue i will say it ha uh-huh. okay um uh kaun sa dialogue i have to give you one dialogue <laughs> Just a minute. Uh, yeah, somebody from here, please give us a dialogue. So Emma, this dangerous villain kidnapping Samira. <laughs> <laughs> no, villain me now become a normal comedy girl. <laughs> uh, I I, I want I want boss a, good. That, okay, t- tell me any any of your favorite dialogue first. Until that time, we are we 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 should receive a dialogue, huh? From the listeners, tell us the dialogue. Okay. Okay. Till that um, time, you tell us your. favorite dialogue i will say the uh, robin hood from um, 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 the bank uh, no, no. okay me uh, yahan ka robin hood ho robin hood pande aha uh-huh. and what and, and what was that one um, for sharu khan um, um rahul no no rahul uh-huh. naam mera what what's it naam se suna hoga what is the dialogue naam se suna ha um नाम तो सुना होगा मैं हूं आई थिंक राहुल नाम तो सुना होगा हां 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 नाम तो सुना होगा आई विल से ओके देयर इज हम एक बार ओके नाउ इट्स ऑल गोइंग अप आई कैन बसंती बसंती इन कुत्तों के सामने मत नाचना ओके बट टेल मी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन यू वांट फ्रॉम मी अ विद दिस बसंती यू नो एंग्री एंग्री बसंती इन कुत्तों के आगे मत नाचना ओके यू से फर्स्ट You say for you. You begin very nice. I'm Dharminder. I'm Dharminder. Okay, okay. And I'm Basanti. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Basanti, in kutto ke aage mat nashna. In kutto ke aage in kutto ke samne. Which one is the right one? Okay. Kutto ke samne. One, one, one more time. One more time. Basanti, in kutto ke aage. मत नाचना सामने ओके बसंती इन कुत्तों के सामने मत नाचना बसंती अच्छा नहीं नाचूंगी ओके आई वुड सी यू वांट As me or as Dharmendra to say. Uh, first as you and then as Dharmendra, both. Okay. Opportunity. <laughs> I will see you now. Now I will see you as Basanti. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. Mean, now I, I, I told you what I laugh. I can't control my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Ahmed, stop it. Okay, let's go. Hmm. बसंती इट्स बसंती इन कुत्तों के सामने मत नाचना हो हो आई डू इट नाचूंगी मैं ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी की औरत मेरी मर्जी 
मेरा जैसे मेरी मर्जी <laughs> मेरी मर्जी अच्छा जाओ करो कुछ भी करो ओके नाउ आई विल डू एज धर्मेंद्र हां बसंती इन कुत्तों के सामने मत नाचना अच्छा <laughs> नहीं नाचूंगी मगर तुम मुझे कितने पैसे दोगे शॉपिंग के uh, एक रुपया <laughs> का जूस ओके और कोई अच्छा सा डायलॉग एंड खूबसूरत अशकों में जब देखता हूँ ये दिस इज परवेज ये खूबसूरत आंखों में ये खूबसूरत आंखों में जब देखता हूँ तो बस तू बस मुझे अपनी सपनों की राजकुमारी दिखती है ये खूबसूरत आंखों में जब देखता हूँ दिस इज वेरी लॉन्ग जब मैं जब मैं तेरी खूबसूरत आंखों में देखता हूँ तो मुझे तू सपनों की राजकुमारी दिखती है रोमांटिक हिंदी डायलॉग्स मे बी आई फाइंड समथिंग अच्छा मैं बोलती हूँ नील नील से से मैं सिर्फ मैं चुड़ैल जैसी हसीना हूँ और मेरे पाओ भी पीछे से टेढ़े यू नो दीट ऑफ द चुड़ैल आर ऑलवेज अपसाइड डाउन चुड़ैल जैसी हसीना ओके ओके आई आई कुछ कुछ होता है अंजलि तुम नहीं समझोगे और आई वांट टू सी कुछ कुछ समीरा तुम नहीं समझोगे या हां या ओके वन मिनट लेट मी ट्राई टू पुट माय कप ओके एक्चुअली आई फाउंड समथिंग नाइस आल्सो ओके हां हां रेडी हां हां एज एज समीरा हां हां 3 2 1 कुछ कुछ होता है समीरा तुम नहीं समझोगे wow. मेरा एक दिल में दर्द होगा तुम नहीं समझोगे नो दैट्स ओवर एक्चुअली <laughs> okay, I I find something. Um, हम एक बार जीते हैं, एक बार मरते हैं। शादी भी एक बार होती है और प्यार भी एक बार होता है। I will say this one, but I I I will be looking down, but I will say it with them, you know, with the expression. You know. Okay, huh. ready? हम एक बार जीते हैं, एक बार मरते हैं। शादी भी एक बार होती है और प्यार भी एक बार होता है। Woohoo! Okay, that one is with different. Good. This is okay. Yeah. I have done it. Huh. Done it. Done it. Okay, so Achha, what else you guys want? This, uh, this oh, one is. Oh, I love this one. कहीं ना कहीं कोई ना कोई मेरे लिए बनाया गया है. Oh, I believe that one also. Yeah. Okay. I will say when you know, like in a dreamy way. Hmm. You know, Samira. कहीं ना कहीं कोई ना कोई मेरे लिए जरूर बनाया है. Hmm. Okay. इनशाला <laughs> Yeah, and what about the Emirati films? You know, there, there, there are so many Emirati films. As Actually, well. I was, I, I have been offered to do one Emirati movie. It's, um, it's about um, husband and wife. So I was about to play, uh, the brother of the lead actress. So I was like only for three, four scenes, 
I was about to play a role that the guy coming from outside, you know, like he he completed his studies for a bachelor's yeah. and he came yeah. to Dubai and to sit with his uh, sister and the sister is about to get married. But I rejected yeah. it because um, uh, I wasn't ready. You know, uh, at uh-huh. that point of time, I wasn't ready because I said, because what what I always think that start something that you are fully convinced because if one time you didn't convince the audience that the audience will never you know respect or love you so why should i fail at 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 a point of the time that i have no love or passion for acting but i think now i'm ready but i still mm-hmm. prefer to act in bollywood or like in indian industry um i want to reach that um site of uh, indian uh, industry um uh, rather than our local because i think our local they already have so much talent but uh, i want to be the first emirati to act in daily soap of india i think that itself would be a, a, a trp boost it will also be good you know i'll recommend you to try to do the theater once it really teach a lot if you will do four or five shows only it will be great yeah because i tried I that when i was studying there they put me in the theater and after that at that time in the beginning i didn't like it but then i really know that what uh, i have learned from them by by but do you think um but do you think in the, in, the, in the theater it's much more difficult than uh, and the normal yeah, yeah. takes because you have to memorize everything yeah that why that's why after doing the theater you will be you don't care about the camera anymore the camera will be nothing that's why yeah so this is yeah. what or maybe there must be a theater there in uh, in Ima, in uh, dubai as well is there yeah any theater there, or something Sharjah. yes join it join it yes that is uh, we'll definitely so, try to um, do uh, we we want your uh, message for your arab fans and for for your bollywood fans i would only want to tell them that first of all eid mubarak kul am wantum bkhair i think i we all know that this eid is a little bit different than every eid that uh, we celebrated it's virtual it's something new it might be difficult for some people when it was it is difficult for some of our family members but um, i think it's a time to um, you know to stay safe stay home that even though um, the government here said um, no for gathering but there are some people who are still doing the gathering but alhamdulillah we are not doing because we're st- um, sticking to the rule of dubai or the government of uae and i think we are um, we will inshallah come across this um, pandemic um, threat and uh, i think um, i don't want corona virus to win over us we want to win over corona virus wow. so i think i always say to everyone that stay home stay safe don't do the gathering it's like a game it's like a world war now that it's either corona either us so we have to be hand by hand heart by heart and to defeat this corona and inshallah we will defeat and i want to say also to all the fans to your fans to my fans that keep supporting us keep loving us we are doing this one for you guys the interviews and the shows it's not easy as it seems it requires lots of work lots of hard work lots of convincing to people to see our work and um, everything is really really difficult it seems for you guys easy but it is not actually easy we have uh, been going through a lot once uh, when we began our journey and uh, alhamdulillah and uh, we wish all the best for ourselves and uh, for our loved ones and thank you for everyone who supported us and that's it <laughs> and uh, neil is asking about the theater in saudi arabia yes now we have a theater and before 10 years ago we did the uh, one theater uh, with permission legally but at that time it was not uh, actually allowed for co- normal people but now the common people they we have a theater by the way yes. there is one more person is keep sending a dialogue with uh, mayor mohabbat hai isliye jaane diya zid hoti to baahon mein hoti uh, just <laughs> can you can you say this dialogue so he will be <clears throat> me happy what are the yeah, dialogue you... i want to see the dialogue mohabbat hoti isliye jaane diya zid hoti to baahon mein hoti okay let him write again in the chat i will read it yeah. because i yeah. i have to see it. i will not um, yeah read uh, right right then i will say yeah. and i really want to say so, also all the love for brain and zainab and i think those are very mm-hmm. important people in my journey and i think mm-hmm. there is also one more lady but um, i don't know what happened to her she have been disappeared but it might be for her own good so let it, let us not talk about her but zainab and uh, bareen all the love okay there is her omg mayor yeah. oh i love omg yeah. okay mm-hmm. mohabbat mm-hmm. hai isliye jaane diya ziddi hoti 
नो 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 जिद होती सॉरी मोहब्बत ओके मोहब्बत है इसलिए जाने दिया जिद होती तो बाहों में होती बाहों में होती ओ लव इट नाइस थैंक यू ओएमजी I am sure it had yeah. almost one hour that we are talking and I didn't realize yeah. it was so fun <laughs> all the so fun we have to do this one often yeah we will do and thank you so much for being with us for all your support and we will be keep you. working side by side hand in hand yeah done right. i'm always and down for good things thank you so yes. much and you, you should visit you should visit saudi arabia okay we beside done, uh, done. yeah yeah, yeah. And done, I, I keep done. coming definitely. actually Dubai. I will come definitely again. Definitely, just be connected and just let us um, uh, connect and let us see together. And also, I want to say that you are doing an amazing job, and I really wish you all the success. And uh, keep smiling with smiling with Samira Aziz, but don't do crying with Samira Aziz, ah, <laughs> because that will be very um, difficult for us to join. <laughs> <laughs> but I think speaking thank you so much mujhe bahut maza aaya oh let let us um say one thing in hindi together okay before yeah. we leave hmm. um mujhe bahut maza aaya aaj samira tumhare sath aane ke liye aur thank you bahut aur brain aur zainab um, i really love you both and um, tumhara show mashallah itna um, khoobsurat hai aur mashallah tumhara smile aur tumhari dimple bahut khoobsurat hai samira i think jo tumne ye naam rakha hai samira uh, smile with samira that it definitely suits you and uh, always keep smiling always keep shining and always keep supporting me and supporting you too and love you too thank you <laughs> thank you so much and now we have a performance live with uh, rishav ishu he's a playback singer uh, because it's eid yes yeah so what is he? <laughs> he he will come in uh, next after that <laughs> damn right. i'm going to see it yeah. yes he's a good singer thank you samira so, thank you so much take care stay connected and till then thanks uh, so love you guys bye 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 जी जनाब कैसा लगे आपको अहमद मरसूकी और उनकी प्यारी प्यारी बातें डेफिनेटली बहुत अच्छी थी दिलों को मिलाने का दिलों को जोड़ने का काम करने वाले लोग जैसा कि मैंने आपको कहा था कि महान होते हैं इंस्परेशनल होते हैं तो ऐसे ही अच्छे अच्छे लोगों से हम आपको मिलाते ही रहेंगे लेकिन उसके लिए करना पड़ेगा आपको हमें लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब बेल आइकन भी दबाइएगा यूट्यूब पे समीरा अजीज ऑफिशियल पे और इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक स्नैपचैट और ट्विटर पे भी जनाब मुंबई इंडिया से बी जे एम एंटरटेनमेंट के बरेन बगाडिया और मयूर गुप्ता और समीरा अजीज एंटरटेनमेंट के साद अब्दुल लतीफ इस शो को आप तक पहुंचाने के लिए बहुत काम करते हैं बहुत मेहनत करते हैं फिर आएंगे ऐसे ही किसी अच्छी पर्सनैलिटी के साथ टिल दैन मा असला बाय बाय